On to baseball. The Orioles changed upper management during the offseason with Dan Duquette taking over as general manager for Andy McPhail. The change not only affects the Orioles, but the entire organization, including Double A Bowie. I talked to Bay Sox general manager Brian Shawcross this morning about the team's offseason moves. It's interesting from a, from a player personnel side. We've got uh, new management up at, up with the Orioles uh, now that Andy has left and uh, Andy McPhail, and and so it's a, it's a, it's an adjusted period for for us to understand the, their uh, their goals and objectives and and how they're going to go about it. But we've had some meetings up uh, in Camden Yards and over in the winter meetings, and so we're pretty optimistic as as we always hear are optimistic about uh, the direction that we're heading. Um, and so you know there there's there's been a, a dearth of talent. Um, in, in the system this last year or so and, and uh, with all of the, our former players uh, that, that have excelled here up with the, the Orioles now, um, you know, we're really looking below in the single A level to, 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 to come up here and, and make an impact, people like Manny Machado and, and high, high, uh, high draft picks. So hopefully we can uh, rebuild the talent that we had a couple of years ago and um, from that perspective, from the Orioles perspective, that's kind of where we're at right now. That was my next question. Uh, over the past few weeks, I've seen some players who were prominent with the Bay Sox be traded to other teams to make room on the 40-man roster. Guys like Brandon Snyder and, and Greg McLeod who excelled here. Yeah, and, and, it, and those are those are tough people to replace, uh, especially a guy like McLeod who, who's defensively sharp um, and, and, and also offensively can give you some steals and things like that. And So from that perspective, uh, we'll have some holes, but the idea is to is to, to build from within and, and if, uh, if we we can have trade value, that's great. If our players can have some trade value, that's certainly uh, a bonus to us. Obviously, during the winter meetings, some players were selected in the minor league phase of the Rule 5 draft. Are those guys that are expected to perform here for Bowie? We hope. We hope. I mean, I, th I think I think time will time will tell. Especially spring training. Once they get down to spring training, see really what you have. Um, because when you lose players and pick up uh, other players, is there's a reason those those teams were willing to part with them too. So we'll see uh, if they can mesh with uh, the Orioles' needs. Pitchers and catchers report to Sarasota, Florida, on February 14th for the beginning of spring training.